gravel gear boot review those are the boots i have currently they are uh well you know they're they're all right until you look is it this one or the other one well it's both of them really they're all right until you look back here they're kind of coming apart and uh they're getting they're getting flat yeah they're they're messy i just worked cows yesterday so they're actually pretty clean considering that but yeah they uh They've had some miles put on them. Like I said, I've had them about a couple years. They're a nice boot. Um, a little dry, a little crusty. I didn't know you were supposed to oil these. I know that now. And so that's what I'm going to do with, uh, <laughs> with the new pair. Heck of a difference, isn't it? Heck of a difference. See, it's hard to tell. It's even the same boot, really. Um, but this is a boot review. So let's see. What do I like about these? Well... I like that they have this taller shaft on them, a lot more ankle support, which I appreciate. Uh, they're pretty, they're pretty heavy boot, but they're not as heavy as those uh, those army boots I had a few years ago. I mean, those were, those were heavy. Uh, but the problem with those boots is that this shaft here was just real thin. It was almost like canvas, uh, and I didn't like that. But th these are nice leather boots, and you know. Yeah, they've they've broken in. You can tell looking at this. You can tell where my jeans stop because it's a little bit darker here. But just for reference, that's what they're supposed to look like when they're brand new. So if we go down here, and I don't know if you guys can see because of the sun, but you can see how thick that rubber is. If we go there, and then we go to this pair, you can tell I've worn it down quite a bit. But, you know, around here we have red dirt, and it's pretty pretty powdery. It really eats its stuff. If I had known I needed to oil these, they probably would have lasted a lot longer. But these are allegedly waterproof. I'm not going to go step in a swamp with them, but I've walked through some muddy puddles, and my feet haven't gotten wet, so they are waterproof. Uh, they're pretty comfortable to wear. Even kind of broken down like this, they're... They're still pretty comfortable to wear. I mean, of course, in, in the new pair, you're going to have a lot more foam in the bottom for you to walk on. I'll have to break these in pretty good. i got to put some stuff on them first and buff them some, what's it called, wet proof. i got to put some of that on there, kind of help break it in a bit. But, uh, but, yeah, they're a nice boot. How much did we pay for these? Well, two years ago, these were $135. Got them on sale for $90. But this pair, which just got a couple days ago, was $140 at Northern Tool. And Northern Tool sells some good stuff. I wear gravel gear pants. Gravel gear boots are pretty good. They're about the cheapest boot that you can get that has this tall of a shaft. This is the, uh, well, it's that. It's the logger boot. And, yeah, sure, it has, it has all those features. But these are a nice pair of shoes. I like them. If I take care of them, they should last a good long while. And these have seen plenty of action. They have walked a lot of miles. They have walked a lot of miles. They have seen quite a few clutch pedals. And uh, they're just a nice, they're just a nice shoe. They're comfortable. They're pretty easy to put on and stuff. There's nothing too complicated about them. Like I said, if you oil them, they don't break down. See, right here, this is the only... I pulled that apart because I grabbed this instead of down here like I wanted to when I was putting them on one time. And then I caught this seam on something sharp and ripped it. It happens. But otherwise, see, I would have worn these for another year. If I hadn't ripped them right here, because this is getting worse. But if I hadn't ripped them here, I'd wear them for another year. And, you know, for reference. And these, these are right out of the box. I haven't even put them on yet. But right out of the box, you can tell they're... It's just a heck of a difference looking at them. So much wear and so little time. I'm not throwing these old ones away. I'm not. I'm going to keep them because, well, there are reasons. I just won't get into I'm just going to keep them. There's no reason to throw them away. They're not completely shot, but I didn't want to keep wearing them and make them worse, and then they just completely fall apart one day, and I don't have any boots because the only other pair of work boots I have are rubber boots, and they are uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. So, 
you know, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh yeah. So heh, one of the first things you want to do, if you get these, you want to replace those laces. Don't get these cheap, flimsy, they stretch, they're junk. Get these flat laces. They last a lot longer. They have, uh, what I like about them, they have a steel aglet. So that's not, it's not a cheap plastic one. That's not just going to come off. You have to work a little more to make sure that you get them in these hooks when you're tying them up. But otherwise, those flat laces last a lot longer. And you might look at them at a store and you say, gosh, those are pretty expensive. Well, let me tell you something. By the time you buy three of these, and you'll do it inside of a year. If you work in these boots, you'll buy three sets of laces inside of a year. You've equaled the cost of those. These aren't going to give out nearly as quickly, which means you're not going to have to screw around with trying to relace your boots when you need to get outside and get stuff done. And you're not going to have to keep going into the store and getting boot laces and relacing everything because it's, it's a pain. So, so yeah, gosh, that's colored a lot different. I mean, look at that. It's just ridiculous how much those have broken down. So, like I said, I got to put some wet proofing on these and then I'll wear them and then these will go into storage. I'm probably going to oil the old ones just to make sure the leather doesn't get crusty and uh, it never hurts to have two pairs of shoes, but these have seen, these have seen a lot of work. Gravel gear boot, pretty good boot. $140 sounds expensive and it kind of is, but if you compare it to the cost of another major brand and you figure they don't even sell a 10 inch logger boot in like Carolinas at Northern Tool, they don't sell that. And these are, these are 13s. So, you know, it's, it's not all bad. They're a good boot. If you're looking for a nice pair of work boots and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, get a pair of gravel gear boots, just oil them up, care for them like you would any other leather shoe. And they should last a long time. They should do a lot of work, a lot of walking. So yeah, the big thing is I just wanted to show how much wear was on these. I can't stress that enough. You may not be able to tell very much, but you, sh you should be able to. I mean, those are worn down and I can't show it on camera because it's hard to get everything angled right, but it's probably because of the way I walk, but also the terrain I walk in. Cause you know, you know, we have canyons around here and they're sloped in on both shoes. I mean, well, I don't know if they're sloped in, but they're slanted. The wear is slanted on both of these. And so it's like a vicious cycle. It's hard to tell if I was walking that way on flat ground and I wore them down or not. But regardless, I'm trying to walk straight and level and those boots keep wanting to make me walk like this. But if I walk like this, it's only going to make this worse. And then I'm going to walk, you know, slanted even more. So they were getting a little uncomfortable if I wasn't walking on uneven terrain or running a machine. So those should be good to go for a little bit. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough about these boots. You should get a pair if you're interested. You should be able to get them online. If you can't find them in the store, you should be able to get them online and they're probably not going to be any cheaper, but they're also not going to be any more expensive. So you got that going for you. But that's Gravel Gear Boot Review. They're uh, 10 inch logger boots. They're not bad boots. I like them a lot. I'd rather have these than something else that's more expensive because at least if I tear these up or get them dirty, I'm not going to feel so bad. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you back again.